invocation. Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravid, Utkal, Vanga, Vindhya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchchal, Jalati, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Nami, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Mange, Gahe Tav Jaya Gatha Janagan Mangal Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidatha Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Meera Rum Kadaludut Nila madande kiri lodugum Sira rum vadana mena tigar barada kanda midil Tekkana mum matir siranda dravidanal tirunadum Takka siru pira nudalum taritanarum tilagamume Atilag vasanai pola nai tulagum imba mura Yethi sayum pugar manak irundha perum Tamira nange, Tamira nange Un siri lamai tiram viyand sayal marand Vartu dume, vartu dume, vartu dume Madhuk Tamilaga Orner, Matrum Nam Palkalakalakatin Vanda Ravagalayum, Madrail Vitrikum Arnir Permakalayum, Kutu Villa Katri in the Patamali Pavilavina Tuiki Vikumbadi, Unbudan Katakol Grom. I kindly request the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu and the Chancellor of our University and the dignitaries on the dais to light the lamp and inaugurate this ceremonic ceremony. I invite the Vice Chancellor to deliver the welcome address and to present the report on the academic achievements of the university. I welcome most respected and honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu and the Chancellor of the the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. Most respected and honorable through Ma Subramanian, the Minister for Health and the Family Welfare and the Pro Chancellor of the, the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. Esteemed the Chief Guest of the Convocation, respected uh, uh, Dr. Rakesh Shakarwal, Director, Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research. Respected through Gagandeep Singh Bedi, IAS, Additional Chief Secretary, Department of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Tamil Nadu. Respected members of the Governing Council, Planning Board, Senate, St 
Outstanding Academic Board of the University, respected chairman and the members, boards of studies, and the presidents, and the members of the faculties of the university, respected Sir Kirkery due to the Honorable Governor Chancellor, respected former Vice Chancellor of the University, respected deans, principals, and the faculties of the affiliated colleges of medical, dental, Ayush, pharmacy, physiotherapy, nursing, and the allied hand science course. Respected chairman of the institutions, distinguished invitees, members of the present electronic media, proud parents, graduates, and the students, officers and the staff of the university, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to one and all present here. At the outset, I deem it an honor and a privilege to propose the welcome address on the occasion of the 36th convocation of the, the Tamil Nadu MGR Medical University. It's the nation's the largest medical university and uh, happy to present the report on the academic achievements of the university. In the first place, I would like to record my thanks and the gratitude to the Honorable Governor Chancellor for his gracious uh, presence at our convocation. Our, our Honorable Governor has been guiding light and inspiring force for our university at the every step of the way, and we are uh, fortunate to have such a, a learned scholarly person ask him as the Chancellor of our esteemed university. Thank you, sir, for guiding the university to achieve the ideals. Through Ma Subramanian, the Honorable Minister for Health and Family Welfare and the pro Chancellor of the university, as you all know, is the man on the ground, always hands-on and hard-working, his uh, guidance and uh, support has uh, helped, to, helped us to make uh, important strides this past year, and his uh, spirited directions and enlightening vision are our uh, great source of strength. Thank you, sir, for uh, always being with us and uh, specifically on this important occasion. <laughs> Dr. Rakesh Agarwal, the chief guest of uh, today's uh, convocation, is an outstanding clinician avid researcher and a distinguished professor. He had been trained at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States and also being obtained a master's degree in epidemiology from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. He served as a medical gastroenterologist at the Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Medical Education Research for nearly three decades before becoming the director of GIPMAR. Dr. Agarwal is nearly is, uh, he is a member of the scientific and uh, technical advisory committee on viral hepatitis of the World Health Organization. Dr. Agarwal has received the National Bioscience Award for Career Development, one of the highest Indian science awards from the Government of India. We are proudly uh, honored to have a Dr. Rogesh Agarwal as a chief guest of the 36th Convocation of the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. We welcome you, sir. The Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University was established in July 1988 by the Act of 1987. This university offers the courses in medicine, dentistry, OUS, pharmacy, nursing, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and allied health science through the 765 affiliated uh, colleges. The university has also been conducting the direct courses through the Department of Transfusion Medicine and Ep Epidemiology, postgraduate degree course in uh, immunohematology and uh, blood transfusion, and the MOC courses in epidemiology and uh, public health, and the PG diploma in uh, medical journalism. Nearly 67,000 students are entering the university every year. This is the second oldest and the largest medical university in the country. The main objective of the university is to focus on medical education and research at the undergraduate, postgraduate, and doctoral levels, and to achieve to maintain the uniform high standards of a needs responsive medical education in the state of Tamil Nadu. The university motto is a health for all. It has been a year of academic regeneration for the university with a renewed focus on research and uplifting the academic standards of the university. 
the formulation of research policy has been initiated and various uh, steps have been undertaken to create an uh, environmental conducive for uh, uh, to the growth of uh, research and uh, innovation. To implement the research policy, the university has created a department of research with the uh, available research faculties in the university to focus on a theme-based research. The corpus fund for the research grant has been increased from 2 crores to 10 crores to enable a grant of, uh, of rupees 1 crore per year on a theme-based uh, research. Every three months for granting the funds, such as uh, seed money, grants for the pilot projects, and uh, whole length projects. The available research officers in the department research will continue their activities till the posts are filled through the medical recruitment board. In this regard, to further strengthen the department of research and help the research, researchers and innovators, an intellectual property rights cell has been created in the university, the first of kind in Tamil Nadu. For this purpose, three research officers attached to the department of research will take up the patency registration of the innovation of the faculty and the students, including their uh, financial burden. When the research is uh, accepted by a high impact journal and waiting for the waiver of the uh, author publication fee, the university will be giving an incentive for the publications. The University Research Day 2023 Arivoli was uh, held for the first time in the 26th of the September 2023 to stimulate the undergraduate medical students to kindle and uh, bring out the knowledge in the research. Best research awards were given to the three undergraduates out of the research abstract called from the undergraduates of the medical college across the state. Various competitions were conducted to the undergraduate to mark the research day celebrations. An abstract book on research uh, compiling all the research papers submitted by the UG students was released by the Honorable Minister for Health and Family Welfare. A high-level meeting was conducted to upscale the research activities and to discuss on a MOU between the university and the IIT Madras jointly and create a platform, common platform. It has also been proposed to enter into MOU with the Society for the Applied Microwave Electronic Engineering and Research Center for Electromagnetic Teams, CIT campus, Chennai, in connection with the application of the artificial intelligence and uh, medicine, uh, the medicine, machine learning in the medicine and uh, research. Along the lines of the research activities, the university has proposed to sign a 100 MOU with the national and international institutions in uh, various fields. In the first step, the university has uh, so far uh, prepared a 25 MOU in various fields, including engineering, agriculture, and uh, pure science. Three university journals has, were uh, introduced this year for medical, surgical, and paramedical to enable the faculties and the students of this university to publish uh, uh, in a peer-reviewed uh, uh, index journal. The university has also decided in principle to provide an author publication fee for very good uh, articles in high-impact journals to encourage a high-quality research. A university press will be initiated similar to the Oxford University Press for dissemination of research findings. To further lens, the academic and the research activities in the universities and further based on the interaction with the centers of excellency, the new 15 courses are proposed to be started in the 24-25 academic year. Uh, number of the graduates and the medals in the prize. 29,685 graduates are being uh, conferred with their degrees, including the in absence in, the, in this convocation. And in addition, 73 gold medal, 23, 21 uh, silver medal, 48 university medal, and 37 endowment certificates are being awarded in this convocation. Regarding the workshop and the seminars, various workshops and the seminars and CME are related to the intellectual property, bioethics, paleotic care, triggering uh, biostatics for research evidence and one health were conducted at this uh, university campus. To implement the above process of uh, research activities, the university has proposed to set up a state-of-art uh, advanced uh, research center within the campus at a cost of uh, rupees of 100 crores to cater to needs-based uh, research by faculty and uh, students, uh, primarily from all over the Tamil Nadu and Pan-India progressively. And as a first step, 
a separate department of research has been created to oversee to oversee this unit on the guidelines of the national medical commission to imbibe the best practice of the institution and the centers of excellence in the country the university team under my guidance has visited the pg mer chandigarh aims and jeep mer puducherry vaidegi institute of medical science and research bangalore and uh, palium india at trivandrum the maharashtra university of health science nasik and more than uh, 10 university in tamil nadu the findings of the search being uh, introduced to, to this university the vice chancellor conference under the chairmanship of the honorable governor chancellor at uti was an eye opener in the sense that it helped in the introduction of the various fields in the society and the idea of the interdepartmental coordination to achieve the better outcomes in the translation research was seeded here at uh, first the review uh, the uh, academic uh, review of the institution meeting was had been conducted across the state by covering it into four quadrants the first three have been conducted at madurai chennai and coimbatore there has been an overwhelming response to this new initiative as a jewel in the crown the kalanjar centenary international medical conference and the future of medicine was conducted jointly with the department of health and family welfare government of uh, uh, in government of tamil nadu between the 19th and 21st of the january 2024 with around uh, 11000 registration of delegates at the chennai trade center nandabakam <clears throat> the conference was attended by the international policy makers from various countries international speakers and consulate general the conference was uh, proved an opportunity to the medical and paramedical students including aiis and allied science courses students to abreast themselves on the latest achievements in the field of medicine and allied science the presentation as per the guidelines of our uh, honorable minister for health and family affairs and our uh, uh, respected health secretary is uh, given uh, direction to the the presentation made by the speakers as per the uh, guidelines in the uh, scientific sessions of the conference will be converted into a digital book with the help of the artificial intelligence and the copy of the same will be circulated to all the health ministers and health secretaries of the states of the states in india and to the ministry of health and family affairs government of india as a student friendly measure the application to uh, to all the services nearly 34 uh, uh, services offered by the university have been made online and also processed online the whole examinations uh, assessment uh, procedure has been digitalized so that there is no manual intervention at any stage the question papers are uh, sent uh, online the answers scripts are digitalized and uh, finally and remotely evaluated to conclude the university has taken a bold path to realize its uh, vision of uh, excellency in research and academic it and it's uh, on the path of the trying to excel at uh, every opportunity thank you this 36th convocation of the tamil nadu dr m g r medical university has been called to confer the degrees of medicine dentistry ayush pharmacy nursing physiotherapy occupational therapy and, and allied health sciences upon the candidates who have passed in the examinations recently held for the purpose and have been certified to be worthy of the same I invite the chief guest Dr Rakesh Agarwal director Jawaharlal Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medicine Medical Medical Education Research Jipmer Puducherry to deliver the convocation address His Excellency the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu and chancellor of the tamil nadu dr m g r medical university shri r n ravi ji pro chancellor of the tamil nadu dr m g r medical university shri ma subramaniam ji vice chancellor of the university 
Professor K. Narayana Swami, Registrar of the University, Dr. Ashwat Narayanan, members of the Governing Council, dignitaries of the dais, in particular, Shri Gagandeep Singh Bedi, distinguished members of the faculty of the university and its affiliated colleges and officers of the university, recipients of various degrees, prizes, and awards, whether they are present here in person or in absentia, as well as their proud family members, members of the media, other distinguished dignitaries and guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Vanakkam Namaskar. I am very pleased to be with you on the occasion of 35th convocation of the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. The Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University is among the most reputed medical educational institutions in our country. The university is engaged in imparting high quality education at graduate, postgraduate, and doctoral levels in several fields of healthcare sciences, including medicine, dentistry, Ayush, pharmacy, nursing, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and other allied health sciences across the entire state of Tamil Nadu through several affiliated colleges. If I remember correctly, I heard 765 colleges, and that's a large number. The university is well known not only across India, but also around the world. Its graduates are highly reputed, and they have set up and developed several centers around the world. Hence, friends, I consider it, consider it a privilege to have been invited to be amongst you today, and I thank the university its chancellor, post chancellor, vice chancellor, and other officers for inviting me here as a guest and giving me an opportunity to talk to the graduates. Let me begin with congratulating the degree recipients and recipients of various prizes and medals. I know the degree recipients are too many, more than 20,000, so they can all be here. But I'll try and talk to them also through those who are here. I guarantee all of you that today will be one of the most memorable and defining days in life of each of you. Dear graduates, this day marks the end of a long and tiresome period of education and training, culminating in a degree that certifies you, each of you, as an expert in your chosen field. You have, a, you have completed a course of the most robust education and are receiving a highly valued, highly prized degree today. And as for the prize winners and awardees, you have completed your course with a much higher level of performance than even your peers. Only a small proportion of those born on this earth, our earth, reach this level of attainment. Hence, today, you should be and I'm sure you must be full of a sense of pride and achievement. My heartiest congratulations on this accomplishment to all of you, whether you are getting a degree or you are getting a prize. Bask in the glory of the day, enjoy, celebrate, be happy so that this day remains ever fresh in your memory. My congratulations. Next. I congratulate the family members of the recipients of degrees, awards, and prizes, including the parents, and in the case of postgraduate courses, maybe spouses, and possibly even children. They, your family members, have remembered through your life, sacrificed a lot over the last few years. They did this while you were busy with your studies and the pursuit of knowledge. Many of them have worked hard to earn money to pay your fees. They have lived alone, looking after all the social responsibilities of the family by themselves, without you. And in the case of postgraduate degree recipients, possibly even looked after your child or children, 
all alone without any help from you. Some of the family members, knowing our culture, most likely mothers and wives, but hopefully some husbands, would have woken up early to prepare the morning tea and breakfast for you. Why did they do this? So that you, their family member, may pursue your dream and passion without any distraction, acquire knowledge and skills, and sit proudly in this hall today. Each of you must recognize their sacrifices, bow to them today, and promise to pay them back by looking after them exactly as they have done for you over the last few years. And to the family members, I request you to share the delight of your words today. Your hard work, your resolve, your tapasya has borne fruit. Therefore, rejoice at it with your words. Let me also use this occasion to express my wholehearted appreciation for the faculty, staff, and the leadership of the university and its affiliated colleges. All the graduates must know that they, your teachers, have imparted you not only knowledge, but would have helped shape your thoughts, values, and careers and lives ahead. They have done this selflessly. In the Guru Shishya tradition of our country, I can tell you from my personal experience, after all, I was also a student once and among the degree recipients once, that you cannot and will not today realize the value of their contribution. However, as time goes on, you will find, as I have done, that your teachers have equipped, has, have equipped you, each of you, with a master key one that will open several different doors through your lives. In fact, any door, the key will open. Some of the teachers will silently dot on you through life, keeping track of your progress. They will be available to you if and when you need them. They will be proud of you when you do well in life and also be upset when you do something wrong because it also brings them disrepute. Do keep in touch with them and doing so will be to your advantage. They will help you when you are in a difficulty. So my, once again, my greetings and thanks to the teachers who have made this all possible. <laughs> now let's come to convocation. Many of us think of a convocation as marking the end of first phase of a person's life. Instead, to me, it marks the intersection of two different phases of life, a transition from the first phase of life to the second, from being a student or trainee to becoming a professional, from being cared for to being responsible for the care of others, from a recipient from the society to a giver to the society, from warm memories of the past to dreams for the future, from a cozy, comfortable, familiar life when others are responsible for providing for, for you to a life full of new challenges, uncertainties, and trepidation. From a careless, cavalier attitude of a student to a lifetime of responsibility. Remember, hereafter you will be expected to chart a path for yourself, which will, of course, vary according to your field of study. As you do this, you will find new co-workers, new friends, a new house, most likely a new city, and will need to adapt to these changes. The change may be difficult, but I can tell you, you have been given the skills in the last few years of your education to succeed through these changes. I can assure you that your teachers and your institution have prepared you for all these challenges whenever you are in a fix. Just think of one of your teachers, maybe the most favorite teacher, and try to imagine how she or he would have handled a particularly difficult situation, and lo, you will have the solution within a few minutes. Now let's look at what a convocation represents. Unfortunately, Tamil is not my mother tongue. In Hindi, my mother tongue, convocation translates into Dikshan Smaro. Diksha has been an integral part of our Indian culture. 
and the Gurukul system. And it is equivalent to initiation, consecration, a word that we have now heard much more recently, and sacrament in English. To me, it relates to advice on how a graduate should use the newly acquired knowledge. And therefore, convocation is not merely a celebration. Instead, the day has a more deeper, a more solemn meaning. Therefore, please allow me to get into a preaching mode and to spend a few minutes sharing a few thoughts and some of what I have learned through my life. I'm going to try and do three or four things. My first and foremost advice to each of you, each of the graduates, each of the prize winners today, is follow your heart. Let me explain this using medicine, field of medicine as an example, because that's what I know the best. There are several diverse paths available to those who are graduating in medicine today. Joining a teaching institution, something that I did, doing lab research, joining a corporate hospital or a group practice, and becoming a specialist healthcare consultant, working with a non-governmental organization at the grassroots level, join an international agency such as WHO, UNICEF, engaged in public health, starting your solo practice, or even joining public service or politics. Similarly, professions in other science, professionals who are passing out in other sciences also have myriad career choices. Each of you will need to choose for yourself which of these paths you wish to follow. Similarly, you will need to make several other choices in life. How many hours a day should I work? What kind of patient should I see? How much should I charge my patients? Should I see some patients for free? Should I keep aside some time for social service? And so on. While making these choices, my advice to you is follow your heart. Young hearts, that's what you have, not the old ones like many of us. I can tell you that they are innocent and they will suggest to you the right path. The path that your heart suggests may initially appear to be difficult to follow, but eventually things will fall in place and what your heart says will eventually work out. Let me give you an example. To me, each of you is like a seed, or should I say a bamboo seed. A bamboo seed, when planted, in the first three to four years, appears not to grow at all, or grow very slowly, despite regular watering, care, application of fertilizer. However, one day, suddenly, things change. A shoot emerges, and then rapidly grows, and you know how a bamboo grows. Those who are in science, you can say there is a long lag phase followed by a sudden log phase of growth. If one had given up on the seedling, howsoever briefly, there would have been no bamboo. The plant is there only because of one's perseverance, because one never gave up. Follow what your heart tells you, have faith, work with purpose, don't give up if you don't see any results in the beginning and you will surely, surely attain your goal eventually, your heart's goal, not somebody else's goal. I can tell you, growth in life, just as the bamboo seed, takes immense patience and almost impossible amount of tenacity. Let's look at it another way. Whether you follow your heart or you don't follow your heart, you will have success in life. Eventually, everybody succeeds. But if you had followed your heart, you will have not only success, but will also have no regrets. If you did not follow your heart, you will have a successful life, but my dear students, eventually it will feel like a false life. Each of us has only one life, so let's not waste that life living somebody else's version, somebody else's view about the life. Let's lead let me lead life as I wanted it to be, as I expected it to be, as my heart wants me to. While I ask you to follow your chosen path, I must also give you an advice not to be too fixed in your intentions or paths. You need to maintain 
a certain degree of intellectual nimbleness, a practical ability to change things. We are living in an era of rapid changes in society, and more importantly for all of us in science and technology, and several professions are undergoing rapid transformation and even disappearing. We don't know with the advent of artificial intelligence what's going to happen to radiology, what is going to happen to pathology. They may change. So you need to have an ability to change and this ability will be an important attribute for each of you in the years to come. For two reasons, to keep up with the changing time and seize new opportunities as they come along. And secondly, more importantly, possibly to create new opportunities. Something that nobody has thought of and you create those opportunities. We heard about research, we heard about development, we heard about innovation just now. Having talked to you about following your heart while maintaining a certain degree of nimbleness, let me come to my second message today. And this is your achievement today comes with a great social and societal commitment. We must remember that in life, values are more important than money. It may seem that money is important, but remember, at the end of life, values are more important. You all, all of you are sitting here, and those who are receiving the degrees in absentia have actually been among the haves, not among have-nots. You have been fortunate to have been able to receive good education. Everyone is not that fortunate. And each of us here needs to be cognizant of this and to work towards not only our personal ambitions, but towards upliftment of the entire community around us, the entire society, the state, the country. Each of us thinks that we should be wise, mighty, and wealthy. What does this mean? Who is wise? A person is not wise who knows everything. Instead, a wise person is one who's willing to learn from all people. Right here in this hall, there must be many others who, thinks, who see things very differently than you do, than I do, whose beliefs are at odds with your beliefs, my beliefs. Wise people seek out such people who are different from them and learn from them. Wisdom lies in tolerance, listening to others and respecting others. And that is a social commitment that we have. Who is mighty? A person who exercises self-control. As the great philosopher Aristotle said, I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over self. Dear students, remember, power is of no use if it is, not, if it is used indiscriminately. The real power is the one that is channelized. To benefit, it's used not to benefit oneself, but to benefit the entire mankind. Let's look at something as basic as water and electricity. When they are not controlled, they cause harm in the form of floods, in the form of short circuit and fire. But if we are able to channelize them, then they are useful to us. And the same thing is true for power that the individuals have, if you channelize it for the benefit of the society, you would have achieved, you would have been much more powerful, much more mighty. Who's wealthy? The person who rejoices in his or her portion, that is one who's contented. To me, the greatest virtue a human being can have is contentment. As Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation said, this word, has enough for everyone's need, but not enough for any one person's greed. Remember, as I said earlier, we in this room are all among the haves. We are young, we are healthy, and we'll possibly be in the top 1% of our population in income as we grow up. We need to be considerate about the older, the feebler, the poorer. Use your education that the university has given you to benefit the disadvantaged people 
and that is what matters in the long run. For those of you who have trained in healthcare fields, all of you, remember that medicine is not merely a profession. It's a calling. Since times immemorial, in all cultures, in all civilizations, doctors have been thought to have a higher purpose in life. They have been respected. Let's forget about a few incidents of violence here and there, but in general, they are placed at a higher pedestal. This does not change, should not change, and cannot change, even in today's mammon enamored word, or the money loving word. As a doctor, or for that matter, any healthcare professional, you are unlikely to starve. You will always have enough to live. To think of it, how much does one really need to live? Very little. If you can achieve that liberated state, which actually you have by getting these degrees, why should we not use the, our lives for helping others? And I exhort you to please try and keep this in your mind as you pass through your lives. Please remember that practice of medicine needs us to always consider other factors. We need to be thoughtful of the costs of medical treatment. What is cheaper? What is more costly? What is their relative efficacy? Are we just prolonging a person's life or are we really benefiting him? Are we just prolonging his agony? Whether the new treatment that we are offering is worth it or is futile? Would a less aggressive palliative approach be better over a more intense curative approach? What friends I find useful, even at my age, in such circumstances when faced with a dilemma is, close my eyes for a moment, think of myself or a family member in the place of the chair where the patient is sitting in front of me and I can get an answer very clearly. We in healthcare need to discuss and debate these issues, weigh them very carefully for every patient when delivering healthcare. We should not become automatons or robots. With AI, there is a high chance that we would start following what the computer gives us, but that's not the human, the humanity behind medicine and other healthcare professionals has to stay. Now my third and the last message. Your education does not end today. What has come to an end with this degree, with this convocation, is classroom instruction and not education. The two are very different. As Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company and developer, developer of mass production techniques in the world said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or at 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. And one thing I'm very sure of, each of us, whosoever in this room, wants to remain young forever, as long as possible. Therefore, if each of us has to do that, we need to continue to read and learn something new every day for the rest of your lives. I can tell you, I'm nearly 63, and I try to do that virtually every single day. If I haven't learned something during the day, I will pick up something late in the evening and make sure that I have some new knowledge for a given day. And I sincerely hope that you will. I can share with you in this context that I have learned a lot after finishing my formal training where I got degrees. Having done my MBBS, MD in internal medicine and DM in gastroenterology, I have pursued knowledge in epidemiology and public health, statistics, lab sciences, research methodology, educational technology, journal editing, computer science, and in more recent years, vaccine science, and also in my new role as administration, not all of it has been formal. Some of it has been formal through correspondence courses, but a lot of it is non-formal. It is this pursuit of Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge across fields that actually defines me and has enabled this invitation for me to be here and share my thoughts with you. It's not my primary field of knowledge, medicine and gastroenterology. Life and knowledge are multidisciplinary. Study of other fields, gives you the power of thinking out of the box 
New ideas come from having broad and multidisciplinary interests. And I would strongly encourage each of you to develop a few interests beyond your chosen small speciality or subspeciality. Let me finally end with a quote from Dr. Nelson Mandela. He has been a great thinker. He's one of the greatest people uh, like uh, our own Mahatma Gandhi who's existed in this world. He said, and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which one can use to change the world. Again, education is the most powerful weapon which one can use to change the world, unquote. We, in medical profession, are different even in the use of weapons. We use a weapon, for example, a scalpel, a knife, not to cut, but to heal. And I wish and hope that each of you will combine the practice of using your ultimate weapon, the knowledge that your teachers and this great institution, the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University has equipped you with, with empathy and compassion to alleviate human suffering and to improve mankind and not merely to earn money. My best wishes, all of you, for successful careers, careers and lives that are fulfilling, that your families, your friends, your teachers, maybe your children, your institution and university will be proud of. Thank you for patient listening. Nandri, Dhanewad, thank you, Jai Hind. Let the candidates be now presented. Mr. Chancellor, I present unto you 15 in-person candidates of PhD degree who have qualified to receive the degree. Vanita S. <laughs> Rebecca Manohar. Anamika. Bala Subramanian. Sandhya. Shivaneshwari. Ramya. Jasmine Shailaja, Yoha Lakshmi, Jaslyn, Rama Lakshmi, Raji, Hema Malini, Jamuna Rani, and Sudha Ratna Prabhu. Mr. Chancellor, I present unto you 33 in-person candidates who have qualified to receive the endowment medals and certificates in medical broad specialties. Kripa S. of Madurai Medical College, Dr. R. Vijay Lakshmi Endowment Gold Medal for Women Candidate in MD General Medicine. Dinakaran of Tutukudi Medical College, Dr. R. V. 
Rajam's 81st birthday commemoration gold medal, Professor Dr. G. B. West Endowment Prize, Irayadima E. A. Jiaudin Endowment Prize, Apollo Gold Medal, Dr. V. Mohan Gold Medal in MD General Medicine. <laughs> Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Sadasivam of Stanley Medical College, Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry Chapter IAPM Gold Medal in MD Pathology. Pooja Preeti of Tanjavur Medical College, the University Medal in MD Microbiology. Yarini of Madras Medical College, the University Medal in MD Physiology. Syed Ali Fatima of Madurai Medical College, the University Medal in MD Physiology. Aditya Indian of Keel Park Medical College, the University Medi Medal in MD Pharmacology. Sujita of Vilupuram Medical College, Dr. Sir A.L. Mudaliar Endowment Prize in MD Pediatrics. Feroz Nagnath of Madras Medical College, Professor Arthur Daniel Gold Medal in MD Radio Diagnosis. Vaishnavi of Madras Medical College, the University Medal and Mrs. X. Esperit Selvam Gold Medal in MD Radiation Oncology. Ilaki of Madras Medical College, Dr. S.A. Kabir Proficiency Gold Medal, the Professor Dr. T. Srinivasan Endowment Prize, and Dr. V. G. Apukutti Memorial Gold Medal in MD Anesthesia. Saranya of Stanley Medical College, Dr. G. V. Suraya Begum Gold Medal in MD Biochemistry. Balamurugan of Madras Medical College, the University Medal in MD Forensic Medicine. Constantia Dovita of Madras Medical College, Dr. Kesavulu Education Trust Gold Medal in MD Community Medicine. Nabil Fayas of Madras Medical College, the University Medal in MD Geriatrics. Suregadi of Madras Medical College, Professor Dr. D. Ranganathan Endowment Gold Medal for Madras Medical College and Professor A.S. Natarajan Gold Medal in MD Respiratory Medicine. Sri Raja Gopal of Thirnal Valley Medical College, Dr. M. Santosham Memorial Endowment Gold Medal, Dr. K. V. Krishnasamy Gold Medal and Lupin Gold Medal in MD Respiratory Medicine. Anjana of Madras Medical College, the University Gold Medal and Ramaya Murali Mohan Memorial Prize in MD Psychiatry. Saliha Tasin of Madras Medical College, the University Medal in MD Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Jayashree of Stanley Medical College, Professor A.S. Tambaya Gold Medal, Professor Dr. Ruth Annamalai Gold Medal, and Professor Jayakar Thomas Gold Medal in MD Dermatology, Venerology, and Leprosy. Jyotsna Grace of the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University receives the University Medal in MD Immune Hematology and Blood Transfusion. Saravanan of Thirnal Valley Medical College receives the University Medal in MD Immune Hematology and Blood Transfusion. Fatima Musfira Gauss of KAP Vishwanathan Government Medical College receives the University Medal in MD Anatomy. Nageshwaran Karthik of Madurai Medical College receives Dr. P. Vadamalayan Endowment Prize in MS General Surgery for Madurai Medical College. Swaditra of Chengalpet Medical College receives District Surgeon Dr. R. Shanmugam Memorial Endowment Prize, Irayadimai E.A. Jiauddin Endowment Prize, Madurai Asikon 1977 Gold Medal, Apollo Gold Medal, and a Dr. U. Mohan Rao Prize in MS General Surgery. Kavya of Coimbatore Medical College receives Professor K.R.K. Prize in MS General Surgery for Coimbatore Medical College. Anbu Vigneshwaran receives, uh, receives Professor M. Natarajan Endowment Gold Medal and Lupin Gold Medal in MS Orthopedics. Nivedita of Madras Medical College receives Thiru C.K. Kumar Asami 51st birthday commemoration gold medal and Dr. Rema Mohan gold medal in MS Ophthalmology. Pavitra of Madras Medical College receives Dr. S. Kameshwaran gold medal in MS ENT for Madras Medical College. Surya Sneha of PhD Medical College receives Professor Mohan Kameshwaran gold medal endowment, AOI prize endowment, Dr. P. V. Cherian prize and Professor Dr. Kray Srinivasan memorial gold medal in MS ENT. Anyam Sri Amruda Shai of Stanley Medical College receives Dr. Mira Sen Gupta Gold Medal, Dr. R. H. Kulkarni's Award, Professor Darini Srinivas Gold Medal, the Mrs. Esther Sargon's Razares Prize, the Dr. A. L. Mudaliar Prize, and the Lalgudi G. Gomati Go Go Amal Memorial Prize in MS OG. Mr. Chancellor, I present unto you 27 in-person candidates who are qualified to receive the endowment medals and certificates in medicine. 
We receive a ball and yes of Madras Medical College, receives MMC, 1982 batch gold medal for first to final MBBS Madras Medical College. Gokula Krishna PJ of Stanley Medical College. Receives Dr. S. Jonathan Desikan and Dr. S. Subramanian gold medal for microbiology. Muhammad Yasin M. Maryam Mohammad Ali of Madhuri Medical College receives Dr. P. Vadamalaya Endowment Prize for OG. Marine V. Rose of Madhuri Medical College receives three medals. Dr. S. Rangachari Prize, Dr. P. Vadamalaya Endowment Prize, Balfour Memorial Prize for Medicine and Surgery. Sumaya Fatima of Madhuri Medical College receives Dr. P. Vadamalaya Endowment Prize for Surgery. Monika Shri of Kirmani receives T.K. Mohan Lakshmi OG. Shesha Gopal of Chengal Pani College receives Madras University Students Club Endowment Prize for Anatomy. Arun Kumar G of Thirunam Medical College receives two medals, Madras University Students Club Endowment Prize and Dr. J.S. Maslamani Prize for Medicine. Mani Banu M. of Kanyakumi Government College receives two medals, Dr. C.S. Balasubri Memorial Endowment Gold Medal and Prof. Dr. Ralitha Commission Prize for Pharmacology. Hansi B.H. of Kerman Tutu Medical College receives Dr. Madhuram Sandosham Prize for Final Part 2 MBBS. Swanu Lakshmi B. of Government Thaini Medical College receives Dr. Guru Swami Mudaliyar Prize for Pharmacology, Pathology and Medicine. Astra Mishra of Government Thurumari College receives Dr. K.G. Russia Memorial Gold Medal for Community Medicine. Anlin Steffi A. of Sri Muthukumari College receives University Medal in Physiology. Aparna K. of Sri Muthukumari College receives Dr. S. Yanadhi Sigan and Dr. S. Subramani Gold Medal in Microbiology. Ganesh K. of Sri Muthukumaran. Ganesh K. of Sri Muthukumari College receives five medals. Professor N. Madhanagopal Memorial Endowment Gold Medal, Apollo Gold Medal, University Medal, Raja of Panagal Prize, ICPS, Professor K. Logamuthu Krishnan Silver Medal for first to final MBBS. Haritha B. of Sri Muthukumari College receives Madras in his Students Club Endowment Prize for Forensic Medicine. Renita Jacob of Thakumari College receives four medals, Madras University Students Club Endowment Prize, Dr. Nair Memorial Prize, Balfour Memorial Prize, Dr. Miss R. Govindraja Prize for OG and Surgery. Soumya M. of Talk Medical College receives Dr. Ambika Shanmuga Endowment Gold Medal for Biochemistry. Saupannika L. of Talk Medical College receives Dr. A.C. Ashirvada Nada Memorial Prize for Clinical Exam in OG. Sindhu S. of ESIC Medical College Chennai receives 10 medals. Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry Chapter IAPM Endowment Gold Medal. Thirmadi Rajam Govindraja Memorial Endowment Gold Medal for Lady Candidate. Dr. Avai Memorial Endowment Prize. Dr. R. H. Kulkarni Award. Madras University Student Club Memorial Prize, Shri T. Rajagavan Memorial Prize, Dr. A. Lakshmi Swami Mudaliyar Prize, Balfour Memorial Prize, Gand Lakshmi Narayanama Prize, T.K. Menon Prize for Pathology and Boji. Shweta B. of ESI Medical College receives Dr. A.C. Ashwad Medical Memorial Prize for Clinical Exam in Boji. Rekha Adarshini of Elam Medical College receives Professor Mohan Commission Gold Medal in ENT. Santoshni of Government ESI Medical College receives R.E.S. and Rama Mohan Prize for Octal. Bavitra S.S of Government Medical College Pudukkode receives Madras and students have endowment prize in surgery. Mr. Chancellor, I present unto you 29 in-person candidates who are qualified to receive the endowment medals and certificates in dentistry and Ayush. We start with dentistry. Pradipa, Tamil Nadu Government Dental College receives the Dr. Tamil Nadu MJ Medical University Medal in Prosthodontics. Darshana of Paragas Dental College receives the University Medal in Periodontis. Sri Shahana, Rajas Dental College, receives the University Medal in Oral and Surgery. Butylin, Rajas Dental College, receives the University Medal in Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics. Purnima of uh, Tamil Nadu Government Dental College, receives Professor J.G. Kandapan Family Medal for Excellence in Orthodontics. Shruti of Adibara Sakti Dental College, receives the University Medal in Orthodontics. Shobana, of KSR Institute of Dental Science receives the University Medal in Oral Pathology and Oral Microbiology. Charumati of Chetinadu Dental College receives the University Medal in Public Health Dentistry. Shruti of Dragas Dental College receives the University Medal in Pediatric Dentistry. Sri Ch Sai Charan of Ragas Dental College receives the University Medal in Oral Medicine and Radiology. Shobika of Tamil Nadu Government Dental College receives Dr. J.A.S. Masila Mani Prize in General Medicine in BDS. Vasudha of uh, Tamil Nadu Government Dental College receives the Professor J.G. Kandapan Family Medal for Excellence in Orthodontics. Isakki Amal at Sri Devi 
Alay Sri Devi of Rajas Dental College receives the University Medal in Public Health Dentistry in BDS. Gokul of Adibara Sakti Dental College receives the University Medal in Periodontics in BDS. Nirmala of Adibara Sakti Dental College receives two University Medals, Oral Pathology and Microbiology in BDS, Periodontics in BDS. Shanmukha Ishwari of Adibara Sakti Dental College receives the University Medal in Orthodontics in BDS. Aishwarya of Vivekananda Dental College for Women receives University Medal for Oral Surgery in BDS. Afra Anjum of Karpaga Vinayaga Dental College receives the University Medal in Oral Pathology and Microbiology in BDS. Janani Barkavi of Thagood Dental College receives the University Medal in Prosthodontics in BDS. Kartigayan of Thagood Medical College receives Professor Dr. N. Yanasundram Endowment Gold Medal in Oral Medicine and Diagnosis and Radiology in BDS. Ashok Raj of Athen Memorial Dental College receives two medals, the Goldgate Gold Medal, Operating, the Operating Dentistry in BDS, Dr. B. S. Somasundram Medal, Memorial Endowment Gold Medal in Conservative Dentistry in BDS. Kausalya of Athen Memorial Dental College receives Professor B. P. Rajan Gold Medal in Bachelor of Dental Surgery. Next, uh, home, I mean, Ayush Monisha of Government Home, Homeopathic Medical College receives Dr. K. V. Anandanarayan Memorial Gold Medal in Bachelor of and BHMS. Santosh Kumar of Sri Sai Zam Homeopathy Medical College receives two medals. K. Sudarshan Award, Dr. N. Subramanian's Award of Gold Medal in BHMS. Nagalashmi of Government Siddha Medical College receives Dr. Pudumi Vinayagam Jayaprakash Endowment in uh, Doctor of Medicine Siddha. Kamalini receives two medals. Kamalini of Sri Sai Ram uh, Siddha Medical College receives two medals. Dr. R. Kandan Gold Medal and Thiru C. Sanmukham and uh, TMT Rajamal Endowment Gold Medal in Bachelor of Siddha Medicine and Surgery. Shruti of Government Ayurveda Medical College receives Line Dr. P. Vijay Kumar Endowment Gold Medal in BHMS. And Sada of Sabha of uh, Government Unani Medical College receives Professor Hakim Sayed Khalifatullah and Gold Medal Endowment in Bachelor of Unani Medicine and Surgery. And Purnima Government Yoga and Naturopathy Medical College receives the University Medal in Bachelor of Naturopathy and Yogic Sciences. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, I present unto you 30 in-person candidates who are qualified to receive the endowment of medals and certificates in nursing, pharmacy, physiotherapy, and occupational therapy. Priyad Darsini of Apollo College of Nursing for MSc Nursing, Professor A. Ramasamy Gold Medal. Sangareshwari College of Nursing, Madras Medical College, MSc Nursing in Ms. Periyasamy Jayatilingam Endowment Gold Medal. Anu Philip, PhD College of Nursing, Coimbatore, in MSc Nursing, University Medal. Raja Rajeshwari, Sri Gogolam College of Nursing, in MSc Nursing, MJR Medical University Medal. Angelin Emimal, of PSC College of Nursing, in MSc Nursing, University Medal. Sri Kalyani, of Apollo College of Nursing, in Post Basic, University Medal. Muthulakshmi V, Umayal College of Nursing, first B.S. in Nursing, Sevaratana Dr. R. Vengadesulu Gold Medal, Gayatri of Apollo College of Nursing, second B.S. in Nursing, Professor A. Ramasamy Endowment Gold Medal, Sangeetha of Vignesh Nursing College, Thiruvannamalai, third B.S. in Nursing, Kalei Chelvi of E.S. College of Nursing, Vilupuram in Community Health Nursing, Mr. Umayal Naji, Mr. Arnacharam Trust Endowment Gold Medal, Pandi Meena of Srinivasan College of Nursing, Second B.S. in Nursing, Professor A. Ramasam Endowment Gold Medal, Vidya of Sri Krishna Institute of Nursing Education, Final B.S. in Nursing, Umayal Naji Memorial Endowment Gold Medal. Next in Pharmacy, Subhashini of Annai JKK Samburni Ammal College of Pharmacy, in Farm D, University Medal. Umaya Salma of PSC College of Pharmacy, Farm D Post Baccalaureate University Medal. Devanand of Anna JKK Samburani Ammal College of Pharmacy, M Farm University Medal. Vinisha of KMC College of Nursing, M Farm University Medal. Sylvia Prakashi, Arulmigu Kalasalingam College of Pharmacy, M Farm University Medal. Kani Moli of Madurai Medical College, College of Pharmacy, M Farm University Medal. Suganya, 
காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபார்மசி ராமகிருஷ்ணா இன்ஸ்டியூட் ஆஃப் பேராமெடிக்கல் சயின்சஸ் எம்ஃபார்ம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி மாடல் மோகனா பாண்டியன் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபார்மசி ஸ்ரீ ராமகிருஷ்ணா இன்ஸ்டியூட் ஆஃப் மெடிக்கல் சயின்சஸ் எம்ஃபார்ம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி மாடல் அஞ்சலி ஸ்ரீ ராமகிருஷ்ணா இன்ஸ்டியூட் ஆஃப் பேராமெடிக்கல் சயின்ஸ் எம்ஃபார்ம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி மாடல் சபரி ஸ்ரீ கேஎம் கா ஆஃப் கேஎம் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் மதுரை ஃபஸ்ட்டு பிஃபார்ம் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இ வி வேணுகோபால் என்டோர்மெண்ட் மெடல் ஜான் சி பாவை காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபார்மசி ஃபைனல் பி பிஃபார்ம் ப்ரொஃபஸர் கே சின்னசாமி என்டோர்மெண்ட் கோல்டு மெடல் நவீனா ஆஃப் செங்குந்தர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபார்மசி தேர்ட் பிஃபார்ம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி மெடல் வினோதினி எஸ் ஆஃப் செங்குந்தர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபார்மசி செகண்ட் பிஎஸ் செகண்ட் பிஃபார்ம் சேவரத்னா இ வெங்கடேஸ்வர் கா கோல்டு மெடல் இன் ஆக்குபேஷன் தெரப்பி ஜெனிதா ஆஃப் ஜேகே கே முனிராஜ் மெடிக்கல் ரிசர்ச் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் எம்ஓடி யூனிவர்சிட்டி மெடல் ஜெனி எலிசபெத் ஆஃப் கீழ்பாக் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் கவர்மெண்ட் பிஓடி டாக்டர் நல்ல நல்லா ஜி பழனிசாமி கோல்டு மெடல் இன் ஃபிசியோதெரப்பி கல்பனா டி ஆஃப் மாதா காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபிசியோதெரப்பி எம்பிடி யூனிவர்சிட்டி மெடல் காவிய லக்ஷ்மி ஆஃப் நந்தா காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஃபிசியோதெரப்பி பிபிடி சேவரத்னா ஆர் வெங்கடேஸ்வலோ கோல்டு மெடல் தேங்க்யூ let the candidates stand and take the pledge we shall in thought word and deed be ever honest in the discharge of our duties and uphold the dignity and integrity of our profession and the honor and name of our university and our alma mater we swear to serve the sick and ailing patients under our care under our care and all those and all those who need our services, need our services. to the best of our ability, best of ability. without any consideration of caste creed, creed or status. status by virtue of the authority vested in me as chancellor I admit those presented here and those presented in absentia for the degrees of the various faculties of the Tamil Nadu Dr M G R Medical University for which they have been declared qualified in this university and in token thereof I authorize the admitted candidates to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of their qualifications let the candidates be seated
தற்போது மதிப்பிற்குரிய துணைவேந்தர் அவர்கள் மாண்புமிகு தமிழ்நாடு ஆளுநர் மற்றும் வேந்தர் தமிழ்நாடு டாக்டர் எம்ஜிஆர் மருத்துவ பல்கலைக்கழகம் அவர்களுக்கு நினைவு பரிசு வழங்குவார் மதிப்பிற்குரிய துணைவேந்தர் அவர்கள் மாண்புமிகு மருத்துவம் மற்றும் மக்கள் நல்வாழ்வுத்துறை அமைச்சர் அவர்களுக்கு இப்பல்கலைக்கழகத்தின் இணைவேந்தர் அவர்களுக்கு நினைவு பரிசு வழங்குவார் மதிப்பிற்கு துணைவேந்தர் அவர்கள் இந்த பட்டமளிப்பு விழாவின் முதன்மை விருந்தினர்களுக்கு நினைவு பரிசு வழங்குவார் I dissolve this convocation. National Anthem. Janagana mana dinayaka jayahe Bharatha bhaakya vidata Punjaba sindh gujaratha maratha Dravida utkala vanga विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जलति तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाए तव जय गाता जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदाता जय हे जय हे जय हे 